Hey, what's up? It's Jared. And today I'm going to talk about my little over first week in using Notion. Notion is a what most people would call productivity application. I have found it to be a lot more. Notion is a Swiss army knife for productivity and just overall management of things. And it has definitely melted my brain trying to understand it and how figure out how to utilize it best in my life. The first time that I loaded up Notion and started kind of figuring out what I wanted to do, I totally made a mess and a lot of a lot of the work that I did, I had to scrap and start over again and really just trying to figure out the best way to utilize Notion in my life uh, so that down the road, I didn't create a problem for myself with the way that I was entering information and utilizing it within Notion was very important for me to get a handle on early because I have done that. I've gone down the road of trying to utilize and work in some sort of a platform and then get to a point where it just wasn't working for me anymore. It kind of fell apart and moving from one platform over to the next was really just a pain. So in Notion, it is very easy to get lost because it is very intricate. There's a lot that can be done there. And while it is a, a pretty simple to use interface, once you get the hang of it, initially it's very easy to just load in a bunch of templates, start to use them, and then realize that all you've really done is just build a bunch of different productivity tools that you already had into one application. None of them are talking, none of the integration and things that you had hoped Notion would bring are taking place. And so it's very easy to kind of get stuck uh, in just creating database pages for everything and getting lost there. So Notion really isn't like an out of the box solution. You can't just fire up Notion and boom, you're amazing productivity through the roof and everything is solved. All your problems are gone. Notion is not that fix for you. Uh, it's like Evernote, Todoist, spreadsheets, your calendar, all those different things in one. And yes, you can make them all talk and all of that data interacts with each other and you can display the calendar data and a to-do and you can link that to-do to a client and you can link that client to a project and all of those things. And when you update one, it updates the other. Like there's just, there's so many different things that you can do there, but you have to set them up in a way where that functionality is going to actually take place and that you don't just end up having lots of data. And that was my problem with Evernote is that, yeah, I could put everything in Evernote, but none of it talked to each other. I ended up using a lot of tags and my tag system was a mess and I couldn't remember what tags I used because I had so many tags. It was just kind of a pain in the butt. And I basically had to go into just like tag bankruptcy and just get rid of all of them and start over. It was really kind of a mess. So what is Notion good at? Well, I, I kind of touched on this a little bit. Notion is really good at connecting things from within Notion. So everything can be tied together. Databases can be tied to other databases. Properties and aspects of those databases can be pulled out and displayed in different ways. Databases can be viewed in different ways. It's really, really cool the way that databases can be used and relations to those databases can be pulled out and used in other data. Now that sounds really tricky. And if you're a very analytical thinker, which I can be, but it definitely requires a stretching of me to be a very analytical, like programmatic type of thinker, um, it, it, it can be great, but at the same time, it can also be off-putting because we do want a simple out-of-the-box solution and uh, this is not that. So your ability to take your data and the things that you're putting in uh, and display them in different ways and call them in different ways is super interesting to me. And I think it's one of the greatest uses of Notion and, and one of the things that it's good at. Organizational and structure of all of that data is also great. I love the fact that even if I'm in a project or somewhere, I can always look at kind of the breadcrumb trail and see where I'm at. Uh, if I jump over into another project or into another view, it's very easy for me to kind of go back a page or even if I forget what hitting back would have done. I can see in the breadcrumbs there exactly where I'm at. Makes it really nice. Linking to pages is really easy. Not only linking to pages, but embedding data from other pages and other database views is really easy as well. And I've definitely toyed around with having like a weekly or a daily dashboard where that day I can look at this dashboard and it has my calendar for the day. It has my tasks. It has the projects that are opened. It has any other useful information. I'm still working on trying to figure that out. 
But right now I've been utilizing it in a lot of different ways and it's really been working out for me. Um, and then it also easily allows you to kind of get your data out. And so I don't feel like I'm trapped within Notion. Of course, you're gonna be building all these different ways that data talks to each other and that may or may not be easy to move to another platform. But I've had to export some stuff out of Notion once or twice. Uh, just to re-import it again and looking at that raw data in a spreadsheet I can work with that I can take that data out and put it somewhere else if I needed to so I don't feel trapped within notion which I think is great um, so what is notion bad at well notion is bad at talking to anything else other than the notion notion is really good at working within notion but if you want to tie in data from outside sources it's gonna be a little tricky for example I typically use my Google Calendar because that's integrated with my phones. Uh, when somebody sends me a calendar invite, there's just a, a lot more there. But my calendar within Notion is something I have to update manually because there's no way to make those two talk well and get that stuff out of uh, the calendar and into Notion or updates that I update my calendar in Notion into my Google Calendar. It's just not a great process, but it goes much deeper than that. There are a lot of different tools that I use for different things, and they just don't integrate with Notion, which is kind of a bummer. Now, that is stuff that will change, I'm sure, as uh, I've been following the uh, Reddit channel for Notion, and there's a lot that has been talked about there. And then also Zapier is talking, they're working on Notion integration, and so there's lots of things that are going to take place in the near future. It, it's just not there quite yet. So Notion is not good at talking to applications outside of Notion, but that's something that's being worked on. The mobile experience of Notion also leaves uh, a lot to be desired. Now, I utilize Notion on my desktop, on my laptop. It's a great experience. It's a pretty great experience on an iPad as well. It's not so great of an experience on an iPhone. I have a lot of data views and stuff that show uh, different aspects of projects and those look great on a bigger display. They don't look that great on a mobile device. And so I feel like I'm at the point now where I either need to create an alternate view for mobile or I just need to forego using my smartphone altogether for certain aspects of utilizing Notion, which I think is kind of a bummer. I like the fact that our devices are different sizes and we can utilize them in different ways. And right now I feel like there is some stuff lacking just in the functionality, uh, not the functionality, but the usability of Notion on a smartphone. So how am I using Notion? Well, I've been using it for my daily log, which is not something new. I've been doing a daily log for quite some time, well over a year now. And my daily log is something that I track uh, my intentions for the day. It's a gratitude journal. I check in with myself multiple times during the day by sharing thoughts or feelings or emotions. I have all of my tasks there. I take notes there. So maybe I, there's something I heard in a podcast or in a book I was reading, I'll notate that there. Um, I add in uh, interactions that I had with people. Uh, a lot of times with my kids, we have fast interactions that are good or could be improved upon. And so I'll notate those there just so that I can always go back and have that. And this was something that I've tried to do in written form in a journal, which has been impossible. I've tried using Evernote for it, which works, but with using it in Evernote, I was never really able to tie into anything else. So if something in my daily log, I wanted to relate to a client or uh, some, some, something on my calendar, it was very hard to do that. And so I've been utilizing Notion for my daily log. I'll make sure to share my daily log template over on my website. So you'll wanna check out the link in the description below and head over to my website so you can see my daily log template. You can copy and paste it into whatever app you use, or you can copy and paste it right into Notion. I haven't created a template for it yet, but it's very easy just to copy and paste that right into Notion. I've also been utilizing Notion for project management, and this has transformed the way that I manage projects. Now, I used to use Trello, which was really nice because I can kind of visualize where I'm at in a project, and that was great, but it was very hard for me to uh, relate that back to a client. I would have multiple boards, one for each client, but that became kind of a pain in the butt because I had tons of boards to update. So then I'd have a master board that I'd update I'd have to update the client board, then I have to update the master board, and it just, nothing ever talked really that well. It required a lot of extra work. Notion has really streamlined that process because now not only can I easily visualize where I'm at in a project, 
but I can have all the information that I need right there from a project, including links to things in Google Drive, like assets and stuff that I need for that project, uh, any notes, checklists, uh, even checklists that are templated, which means it's a checklist that I follow every time. I mean, there's just so many ways to automate that process and then easily have all the information there for a project. And I've been utilizing it for videos as well. Actually, I'm occasionally glancing down at my iPad at notes for this video that I have in Notion. And those notes are also part of a bigger project file for videos that includes uh, where I come up with my possible titles for this video, descriptions, keywords, uh, where I put any links or any information that I want to include in the video. It's kind of a dumping ground for all of that as well. And so I utilize that for not only my client projects, but also for video projects such as this one. I've also been building out a personal CRM. So if you know what a CRM is, usually it's used in business, a lot of times in the sales department. They'll use a CRM because they get a lot of leads, which are potential customers. So they try those leads and they try to move those leads through the process from becoming someone who may have shown a little bit of interest into a product to them becoming a customer and then even the follow-up that comes after them becoming a customer. The CRM is that uh, relationship management solution for a business. But I felt that I needed something like that in my personal life because Maintaining relationships has gotten really challenging uh, in my adult life. I have my family. I have uh, a lot of obligations. I've got my work. And so trying to maintain relationships has gotten to be pretty challenging. And so being able to log aspects of my relationships, interactions that I have with people and stuff like that, important dates, important information, things that I could be mindful of on behalf of those people, those are things that I want to log. I mean, how many times has somebody told you something like, hey, I'm going to be uh, traveling next week and you're like, okay, cool. And then you see them in like a week and a half or next or that next week and and the only thing that you can recall is that they said hey i'm going to be traveling and so you ask them hey did you go on that thing yet i mean it's cool that you remember that much but i want to remember the fact that they should already be back by now so rather than saying hey did you go on that thing i want to be able to say hey how was that thing instead and so i'm just building deeper relationships by the practice of remembering things and a lot of times it takes writing that stuff down and because i have not really been able to get into the practice of a written journal and having that with me all the time and because the organization of data and stuff like that in a lot of other applications is a bit challenging and i don't want to utilize a full-on CRM in order to accomplish this, I'm utilizing Notion for a, a personal CRM, which has been working out really great. And I've really enjoyed utilizing this. And it's making me more mindful of the people that are in my life, which results in me uh, cultivating and building those relationships and strengthening them as well. And that's very important to me because I have not done a good job at that so far in my life. And leading forward, I want to have stronger friendships and relationships relationships. I want to be that person who remembers things, uh, even if it's been a while since I've talked to that person. And so in building out that personal CRM, it's going to help me with that process. And I'm utilizing Notion for that right now. So some closing thoughts on having utilized Notion for a little over a week now. Notion is definitely excellent for highly productive people or people who want a high level of organization. There are a lot of tools out there that achieve individual things, as I've talked about. Um, but this this is really good for that type of person that wants to customize that and kind of create their own structure. It's also really good for students, and I think that it's also really great for analytical people who want to be able to visualize their life and their data and computate it in one way or another. It's definitely a great tool for them. Notion is not good as a simple solution. Uh, it's getting better because the Notion community is getting stronger, and Notion themselves are figuring out more and more ways that people are using their software. Software, so it's getting better, but it's not a simple out-of-the-box solution like a simple to-do app, task manager, or some sort of solution like that. It's much more involved than that, and it's hard to kind of put a label on it and say that it is one of those things when it's a little bit of all of those things. Uh, so I'm going to include some screenshots on the website blog post, so you'll want to check that out that is uh, linked below in this video. 
And then also some layouts and the way that I'm utilizing Notion. I'll share some of that a little bit more detail in the blog post so that you can see that. Uh, if there's any of these things that you find interesting, definitely let me know because I wanna create more content around the topic of how I am organizing and structuring uh, the different facets of my life and how I can actually maintain those without having them drive me crazy or I end up losing information and forgetting things. How do I keep all of that readily available Available so that I stay on top of everything. I think that that is becoming more and more of an important uh, thing in our lives. And I want to talk more about that if it's something that you're interested in. So let me know down in the comment section below. You'll also be interested in my weekly newsletter, which is linked down below. In my weekly newsletter, I talk about different things that uh, I find valuable that I've come across over the week, uh, such as um, utilizing Notion and how I'm talking about it in this video. But it also might be something interesting that I've read, something that uh, has added value to me and uh, maybe changed my mindset. These types of things I'm sharing in my weekly newsletter, and I would love to interact with you there. Uh, when you get my weekly newsletter, it'll come once a week, and you can also reply back to that, and we can talk through email. There's also social media, which you can reach out to me through. I love having conversations with people uh, like on Twitter about different topics as well. It's a great place for that, so follow me there if you're not already. That's going to do it for this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel here so that you get notified when I put out new videos like this, but until next time, I hope all is well with you, and we'll see you in the next video. Video. Take care.